Harim. We're here at the Pool of Salome, the water behind me here. This was discovered here probably about 10 years ago, maybe a little further back when I lived here the first time. They were working on uncovering this very pool from the Second Temple period, which makes it all the more important because this is a time when Yeshua was here. This is a time and the place where he told the blind man to come and wash here at the Pool of Salome. In fact, the other day when we were getting ready to come and I was going to show my family this pool here, the Lord revealed to me a very, very remarkable revelation about the blind man and why that Yeshua actually took and made clay from spit and mud on the ground. It was always something that baffled me. Why would he do that? Well, I kind of used to have in my own thoughts that he did this because of the there was there were such uh, concerns about hygiene in the days that he lived here that he was showing the people that the hygiene was not what really mattered. But it wasn't the hygiene at all. In fact, when the Lord revealed to me why Yeshua was taking and spitting on the ground and making the clay. It was a sign to the Jewish people, it was a sign to my own people, that he was the one that formed Adam from the dust of the ground in the Garden of Eden. This is why he took and he spit and he made the clay and he put it upon his eyes. This man was born blind. Remember the story, what it says. They asked him the question, did he sin or was it his parents that sinned? And Yeshua says to them, neither one, but that the glory of God might be made manifest. The very creation of not only the earth, the universe, but man himself is the glory of God. And when Yeshua took and put the clay upon his eyes, no doubt being born blind, maybe there was part of his eye that was missing. But by putting the clay there, he was showing that he was the very God of the universe that had created everything, that here the Creator Himself had come down in a human body, washing at the pool of Siloam. And this water here only washed off the excess. The miracle was the fact that God was in a human body, once again creating that which was missing. I'm Stephen Ben Danun, live in Israel in Jerusalem at the Pool of Salaam. Baruch Hashem.